Hey everybody, Nathan here with Samson Farms and the other day I showed you how me and Temperance built an electrolysis tank from stuff we had around the homestead and house and stuff like that. But today we're going to put it to use and show you us loading in a uh, cast iron skillet. And I'd also like to say if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy the show and uh, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free. I give you a 100% money back guarantee. Ring that bell for notifications and stick with us and we'll get to it. That's right, everybody. I've had the electrostatus built, went and brought a uh, regular old charger not a smart charger not an automatic charger just a charger um, I think my battery's bad we're almost still try that with a good battery once I get a good battery to do that with and I have had my uh, cornbread pan in there all day today and it's getting really close to being completely clean so I figured for this video I've got this old number three don't know who made it skillet that hangs up in my shed because I got it from someone in a package deal it's got a crack on it so it's not gonna hurt anything but it's not gonna hurt anything anyway but either 14 or 16 gauge electric fence wire put a hook at the end and a spot for the uh, it to rest on my board and then the loose ends just to connect to the alligator clip pretty simple All right, now in the you can see the bubbles here. This is the piece actually being cleaned, and this is the sacrificial piece down there. Seeing how the crud is all attached to that wire, it's exactly what it's supposed to do. And then this piece is getting cleaned. So we're going to take our number three skillet, hang it from our wire. Dip it in. Unhook our lead for just one second. And you should see bubbles almost instantly starting to form over here. You can see the uh, sodium carbonate already attaching to the wire. The bubbles resuming here and the bubbles will start working on that one here real soon also and that's it yep as you can see the bubbles are starting to pull off of it we know it's working now from all the research I've done over the last couple of years about an electrolysis tank you can leave these pieces in this solution running indefinitely you're not gonna hurt them it's gonna take off the rust by making uh, turning the ferric taking red rust and turning it into black rust and it's attracted to the other pan it's ferric something and it turns it to ferric oxide which is iron rust and it's attracted to the sacrificial piece and leaving it in the solution doesn't do anything because there's no oxygen getting to the piece to create new rust so you don't have to worry about any of that and you can keep it running until you get the time to come back out to it and with that said at some point in the process you're going to have to come and rotate the piece 180 degrees around because there's a uh, like a shadowing effect because it's pretty much line of sight from the sacrificial piece to the piece being cleaned so from a straight line to it so the stuff on the back will cake off and fall down and sometimes you'll see it at the top of the tank rust will rise to the top of it and kind of ride along the top like a scum and it doesn't hurt anything if you have yours outside like mine is evaporation is normal 
all you have to do is add water to it. You do not have to go and get the washing soda and put in it anymore because that doesn't evaporate. That's it, guys. It's a pretty simple, pretty easy process. It's just uh, sourcing the materials to build it. And then you have a e-tank to clean all your cast iron or anything steel or iron that gets rusty uh, tools. Same people put like um, uh, saw blades and stuff in there and clean them. It peels off the rust. And then, of course, once it's done, you pull it out, wash it off, oil it, and you're good to go. And as always, everybody, God bless. See you next time. Bye.